India's rapid urbanization have indeed led to a growing demand for infrastructure development. Admixtures are essential in modern construction to enhance the performance of concrete and reduce environmental impact. Also, the government has recommended the usage of admixtures in construction projects. Admixtures currently holds around 40% share of the Indian construction chemical market with an approximate value of 5,000 crores. Admixtures are specialized substances that are added to concrete in conjunction with its primary components of cement, sand, water and aggregates, enhancing concrete workability with optimum water usage. There are three types of admixtures depending on the raw material present in it. Polycarboxylate ether, sulfonated naphthalene formaldehyde and lignin. Currently PCE is leading technology in this field. Key benefits of using admixtures. Enhances workability and ease of handling. Improves strength and durability. Minimizes shrinkage and cracking. Realizes time and cost saving. Berger Home Shield offers a comprehensive range of admixtures, catering to diverse construction needs and applications. Berger Home Shield's nine factories across India, along with 150 plus service locations reaffirm its dedication to customized solutions and customer support. Berger Home Shield Admixtures, complemented by its BIS certification, assures premium quality of its products. Our product range includes Rio Sem. They also have Rio Plast and Rio Greet. The versatility of admixtures makes them valuable in a wide range of construction projects like precast industry, mid-small building construction, ready-mix concrete industry, infrastructure projects, government projects, as well as commercial and industrial construction. Now, let's conduct tests to assess the advantages of using admixtures in concrete. Equipment required The slump cone with base plate, flow table, damping rod, scoop and a flat, stable surface for testing. Let us prepare the concrete mix as per the project requirement, ensuring it's thoroughly mixed to the desired consistency. Position the slump cone on the flow table. Fill the slump cone entirely till the top. Lift the cone vertically without twisting or tilting, allowing the concrete to flow freely. Measure the concrete flow. Record the slump flow value in millimeters. Concrete workability with admixtures make concrete pumpable and self-compacting. Position the base plate on a level surface. We must fill the slump cone in three equal layers, compacting each layer with 25 damping rod blows along the edges and corners. Remove excess concrete from the top with a trowel. Hold the handles. We need to lift the cone vertically without twisting or tilting, allowing the concrete to flow freely. Measure the difference in height between the top of the cone and the displaced concrete. Record the slump measurement in millimeters. Concrete workability with admixtures assesses the flowability of concrete. Prepare the concrete mix for both sets of precast bricks using the same proportions of fly ash, cement and sand for consistency. 
add the recommended amount of the ad mixture to one set following the instructions and ensure thorough mixing with the concrete. Pour the concrete mixes into their respective molds. One mold with the ad mixture is labeled A and another without the ad mixture is labeled B. Compact the concrete evenly and eliminate air gaps. Commence the setting time measurement as soon as the concrete was placed into the molds and record the start time. Carefully remove the bricks from the molds once the concrete in both set A and B had set to the desired point. Record the setting and demolding times for both set of bricks. Analyze the results to determine the time saved by the set with the add mixture. Examine the quality of the bricks in both sets, assessing differences in strength and surface finish.